लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स फाइनली बहुत दी हिमालयन 450 सुपर एक्साइटेड टू राइड दिस मोटरसाइकिल फुली एसेसराइज फॉर टोरिंग बाय ऑटो इंजन एंड लुक एट दिस पर्सनली इट लुक्स लाइक अ बिग मोटरसाइकिल डू नॉट टॉक अबाउट दीस थिंग्स ऑन द वे व्हाइल आई एम मोटर ब्लॉग सो लेट्स गो फॉर अ नाइस राइड सो वी हैव बीन डूइंग अ लिटिल ऑफ रोड you don't even feel anything on this bike i have already reviewed this bike so this is not going to be a review it's just going to be a nice ride experience and also going to talk about all the gears and stuff on this motorcycle well i don't feel that there are any accessories added to this motorcycle everything looks compact and nice as you can see that's the crash guard which is very much in line to my knee and the reason i am testing this is that tomorrow if i tour on this will it comply you know that's the main thing and that's what i'm testing it's just sailing smooth my panniers are now loaded uh, best part is these guys have made inner bags for the panniers which you can buy separately and i think with the top box it comes with it that's the best part uh, which i really like because you know who the hell wants to carry the whole pannier back to the hotel right so what i i don't even need a tank bag because i have a top box and two you know uh, huge <laughs> big ass side panniers made out of pure aluminum bike is obviously performing superb like these bumps and all in fact on the KTM 390 adventure i did have the panniers exactly same setup so the best part is they are universal panniers so they can fit on any motorcycle whichever they plan to make the saddle stays for and uh, they are quite known if you go on instagram you go everywhere you will see auto engine are quite flashing there so i mean they are already great in their quality but what they did is something really crazy what happened on the himalayan 411 versus what happened on the himalayan 450 i mean royal enfield evolved and so did auto engine i mean the parts look so different well finished Yes, buddy. Hot and humid. Expected for this ride. Tamini Ghat is the best to, you know, kind of get an idea how it leans. And I'm just staring at this bike. It looks amazing with the accessories. It looks so big. Yeah. And still, it doesn't feel big when you're riding. That's the best part. Power to weight ratio for Himalayan 450. How was the weight distribution? Well, that was my yeah. That was my main concern. That having such big panniers behind, a top box behind. I thought it would be a little, you know, dilidoma here and there, but it wasn't actually. And uh, surprisingly, all the corners did like so well. I didn't even feel that there are panniers, but I have to keep that in mind. Loving it now. We are heading to El Ali Bag. Let's see what um, uh, what else we have on the Konkan route. Okay so Tamini Ghat was great it feels like 50 degrees i am boiling it is so damn hot that i can't express and that's when we need to talk about heat management in that scenario let's talk about this radiator grill which is created by Auto Engine which looks so industrial and so rock hard and uh, i mean it looks like it's fiber but it's aluminum and steel mix whatever you see black is a uh, very good quality aluminum used the facet which is on the right and the left is actually steel and i think this is a whole look thing with the bash plate also which we'll talk later they have created fins now having these gills around your radiator grill is much more superior than having just a basic pass through grill and the reason is it can actually intake good amount of air and pass it at the right areas and that's the reason the geometrical design what they have crafted here when you're taking adventure motorcycle all these by lanes have crazy off road you go anywhere in such places you will find nature at its best and that's what adventure seekers are and this is where this baby will rock The ride was wild, extremely hot, 
and the eagle has landed. Yes, we have reached Alibagh somewhere. We are bunked at this place, which looks really cool. Fortunately, there are air cons, which is keeping us really cool. And why I'm gonna talk about folk clamps, especially for your auxiliary lights, is because we are just about to go for dinner and it's gonna get dark. Especially because the headlight is quite dim. That's what we've heard from people and a lot of right. Why they are on the folks is that this is good. It moves around with the folks, so it throws the light where you need it, especially when you don't see a puddle or anything like that. It is the first time I've seen folk clamps made of composite material. Yes, there is nylon used here, which they also use in their sliders, and they've used a metal frame for it. So imagine they use two materials, and the reason is very simple. This can even handle vibrations. Also, it will not scratch your folks, and this is very strong. Good morning folks. So today we're gonna to explore a lot of places here, including beaches and some off-road. But what's the first thing a rider has to do? Obviously, a rider needs his gears first, so we gear up. But the luggage solution is very important. Today when we are exploring, I am not planning to take the panniers along. Get rid of these dials and as easy as that. You can see the style say this time they have done something different. Uh, the previous Himalayan had a box shape which these panels can also fit on the 4-level. They are planning in future some add-ons. When I say add-ons, they're going to be some good bags which can directly fit and that's why you can see these holes around. Also, this will give strength to any soft luggage which you're planning to take. Angle what they've achieved here by adding this bracket, making sure that this is 90 degrees straight is amazing because in, on the Himalayan, there's a bit of a curve inside and that's why I've seen some saddle stays which go inwards but this is purely 90 degrees which does the job right. I can put everything very organized and it'll not rattle around because the biggest problem of a top box is right and if you just have like maybe a water bottle or a few things, they move around. So it's how considerate that they have designed a very nice organized bag. Pick it up like this. You can put this straight up in this. There you go. As you can see, these are the lanes. How beautiful is this? <laughs> these are the lanes adventure seekers ride, and that's why you need her ADV, and that's why you need a lot of protection on this ATV because when you're stuck in such a tight corner and you have a heavy motorcycle you have to get used to it and uh, crossing these lanes as you can see I have to go here now yep yeah baby okay sidling time so yeah we'll talk about protection the first thing I would like to really highlight master cylinder which is near my foot peg area and my boots keep rubbing it so auto engine has crafted a protection shield it's, uh, it's a good accessory uh, part of protection because that's what we're going to talk because today is a off-road day and I got a good patch yeah for a change whoa 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 look at this man Early morning, hey, khadaya, no problem. Royal Enfield eats speed breakers for breakfast. About even the reservoir cap, which is a decent design, matches the whole symmetry. I would say the whole set has been designed, which should look like a theme. Make this bike look more industrial, more rock hard. That's the motive behind this construction. And I'm enjoying the touring kit so far. Whoa, that was good. Whenever you are 
towards Konkan, this is what you get. You know, places unexplored, really cool. And that's the best part, having this touring machine. I can enjoy, go places where there are less people. And this is the fun element, which I think every explorer wants. Even if it's like 45 degrees and I'm burning, that whole thing has set to a good mood. And I'm glad I'm here. And that's the best part, part about Alibag, exploring, you know, hidden areas which are not explored much like this bridge which is abandoned all right i think it's time to go okay so i think we should now talk about crash guards the most important which is going to protect your engine as you can see a bit of glimpse here let's talk about this it's a wild ride it's nearly noon and i had a fantastic time and evening obviously we are going towards the beach and exploring mode now is the time we talk about protection. Auto Engine is known for making crash guards for a lot of motorcycles. You can check them on their website too. But what is so unique about this? The main tension point as per the brand is this area. They actually had more than 20 to 30 designs which they rejected and they finally made this. The main core element of Auto Engine was to make sure that this aligns well with the whole chassis and the body, the entire motorcycle. You know, the aesthetics should be perfect and if you see the flow it really looks it complements in fact it looks it's stock you know the nylon sliders and besides this a lot of people have tested and ridden this bike with these accessories and they're really happy about it second thing the most important we're going to talk about for the bash plate the sum guard whatever you want to call it very important part for any motorcycle in fact i have that on my super meteor also this is decent which is given by the company itself which is a stock uh, bash plate which is made of plastic uh, it's decent in fact it can take a uh, good impact however people who are going to go a little bit touring and more on places like we are doing off-road and stuff you have to make sure it's strong this is the aluminium bash plate with steel if you notice the radiator grill and the bash plate it actually complements each other that's the whole significance of this design which they have uh, done on this bash plate. Also, this is a two plate system. Basically, there are two assemblies attached to each other. So that's a reinforced strength. Whenever there's like some kind of a rock hitting it hard, so it will protect your exhaust and your underbelly for your engine. See, and there are a couple of uh, styles about this bash plate, different colors. Check out on the website. <music> We are parked here, nice place, it's a little breezy but humid as hell and we are about to leave towards Pune. Here they have come out with a solution which really amazed me. They have made these nice carry bags, very simple dumb bag. You feel that there is some fibre inside. This bag, there are some two pockets and this is where I think I'll ask Mridul, why is this like this? So Rajbhai, keeping uh, rider's perspective like loading, unloading, for the ease of loading and unloading. So what we did uh, for the for the this bag, for one bag, we have got a top loading. Okay? okay. And for this thing, we have got something like uh, jo, like uh, jo trolley bags. Hote hai. If okay. it, it could be open sideways. Okay. So you can arrange your uh, clothes and materials. And here's the laptop sleeve. Right. You have got okay. a laptop sleeve. With padding. And I'm sure it can accommodate a 15 inch, which is the common size. Right, right. And I'll quickly open this. There you go. Which is just a place to maybe keep your bungee cords, your gloves, or maybe your some wires which you need on the go, like your chargers. And the reason is, so if you are a digital nomad, you would know that this bag is going to have all your gadgets. There are some differences. Can you see on the bike? What I was riding on was this. This was the plate for the top box. And right now, there is something unique which I have never seen in my life. A tray which can expand up to, what, 50 mm? 50 mm, 50 right? 50 mm, that means if you have a bigger duffel bag, so why this two kind of thing, Pramod? I mean, we uh, wanted to have a top rack on this thing. Uh, even this the top box cleat could have been a top rack. Hmm. But uh, lately we have seen the duffel bags, uh, soft luggage is being famous since last two years. Hmm. So we wanted to have a larger top rack which can support the tail bags. Okay. That auto engineer is giving you two options here. If you prefer this, 
This can be used only for a duffel bag or any soft luggage which they have. This is not for the top box. For top box, please note you have to buy this one. We are not putting panniers. We are trying soft luggage on a motorcycle and uh, taking some highway. So let's go. Wait, you know what? I think, how can we forget this cute accessory, which is practical and very useful for people who are using the soft luggage. I just realized they have made an exhaust heat shield. Now you know that the Himalayan 450 comes with the heat shield, but it is an extender, especially for people who are using such long overhauling ranger bags. So this is crafted with steel and the design goes with the whole flow so it doesn't look like it's an aftermarket piece but i really like the way they've worked it it's steel even the whole treatment of it is matching with your original oem setting so that looks really cool the main purpose of this is it does not burn any of such bags so this can be avoided by just investing in this little product which is a cute and a practical accessory क्या नाम है आपका आपको कैसे पता चला मैं ब्लॉगर हूँ ये सब देख के ना ताम जाम चलो बढ़िया है आपको ले लिया मैंने ब्लॉग में भी हाँ हिमालयन 450 है कहाँ जा रहे हो आप लोग ओके नाइस नाइस चलो सी यू बाय वेल सो अलीबाग इज दैट साइड एंड आई जस्ट केम फ्रॉम देयर एंड आई थॉट वाई नॉट टेक अ वाइल राइड Right, so finally we have reached headquarters, Auto Engine. The ride was fantastic, though it was humid as hell. But one thing I forgot. You see this? Yes, pillion foot. It's very sleek. Also, it is much ahead. So what they have done is there's a 50% increase in the foot peg so that you can land your foot properly. Now, how about I sit on this and demonstrate that? Is it is foldable, ample of space where your pannier box is or maybe your saddle bags, whatever you prefer. Decent grip also. Right guys, so this was it. This was all about the Himalayan 450 ride, which was fantastic. I hope you guys like this video, but hold on. You have a 10% discount. Yes, RWR10 is the coupon code, which you can apply. And that is only for the first 100 buyers, especially for the accessories of the Himalayan 450 crafted by Auto Engineer. So get yourself these touring accessories. And rest of the details are in the description. As usual friends, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj. And as easy as that.